Alright folks, it's Pitching Ace 88 and we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, Pacific Bay, Bayou Blue, and we are on the last case of it, number 10. You guys excited? I sure am. I'd like to give a shout out to those of you who put a comment on Gauntlet Legends. You got JCrash91, Mr. Rasmus, thank you guys very much, and I'd also like to give a shout out to people who commented on the last video, uh, Ben Doherty and Yvonne Han. Gabriel, thank you guys very much. Let's go on to the next case. Where unfortunately we got a little bit of a teaser. If you're following me on Facebook, previously on Criminal Case, Ace, I just don't get why Vanessa would send you a message on a beer coaster of all things. She talks about dark secrets and she drew a tombstone with a note saying tonight, 10 p.m. Yeah, you're right, Ace. Since there's a tombstone on it, Vanessa must mean the cemetery. She sure as heck chose the right place to reveal dark secrets. Looks like this story is going to take a dark turn, so you should stay behind, Amy. It could be dangerous. Ace, you ready to head to the cemetery and learn about Vanessa's secrets? Alright, let's go. Bayou Cemetery, 10 p.m. Well, Ace, I don't, I don't see Vanessa. Either worse early or she's hiding. Huh. Why couldn't she just speak to you on the phone instead of all this secrecy? Do we really need to go looking for her, Ace? I mean, I'm a bit too old for playing hide-and-seek. Alright, fine, let's get this over with. Oh. That is a v extremely creepy image right there. Extremely creepy. Now, I'd like to give you, let you guys know that um, my Zuma's Revenge guide... Um, I will be doing that one, so if you guys comment on this video or that video, you guys have a chance of being put into a shout-out. So, I'll appreciate all you guys who do that. Ugh. Ugh. Her lips. It's super creepy. And again, everyone always asks every video, why do I have so much energy? It's because I wait, um, and I just collect energy from friends and, and whatnot. Yep. Poor Vanessa. <sighs> oh, there's Candelabra. Yep. Torn paper, victim's body. Turtle, faded map. And crow. Right there. <laughs> oh, so many people are on this. Wow, this has got to be the biggest voodoo doll we've seen so far, Ace. Besides, I thought we were meant to be looking for Vanessa. Wait, what? You're telling me that this voodoo doll is Vanessa? Why didn't you say so earlier? Ugh, I guess we're too late to hear her secret. I agree, Ace. Let's see if Roxy can get her talking again. And now, what's this you picked up, Ace? A torn document? I'll let you piece it back together. I like you showing off your skills. And look at this message. Vanessa, hide here, and you'll be safe. But you're right, Ace. There's something else on this, but it's faded. Do you think you can recover the faded ink? So we can see what this is all about, Ace? I definitely think I can. I think be being my bio is almost too cliched, so I'm not going to say that it's her, but stay tuned very soon, guys. Make sure to like and comment. You get 150, and you get on all the way over to Chapter 2. So I'll see you guys all in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, folks, we are back. Always make sure to comment and like, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Always, always, always love it. Ooh. You're new. A lot of these chicks are new. Oh. Oh. What's getting irritating, Ace? You're too darn skilled. It makes me look bad. And this document you piece back together looks an awful lot like a conspiracy document. It says those three girls are missing, and there are a lot of scribbled notes around them. Same age, same place. What's this all about? 
I agree, Ace. We should send this mystery to the lab. I'm sure the lab rat will enjoy solving this for us. I'll bet you anything he does. Six hours? Alright, let's examine this faded map. I guarantee you it'll probably give us another, another location. Maybe? Yeah, treehouse. Good job recovering that map, Ace. Now we know where Vanessa went to hide, with the promise she'd be safe. Well, since Vanessa ended up dead, we all know that that's a lie. But what is this place? It looks like a hut stuck in a tree. You're right, Ace. This tree hut should, shouldn't be too hard to find in the swamp. So what do you say we go where Vanessa was hiding out? The hut pathway. That is such a creepy image. I love that. I love that. Man, these guys are getting good. They're getting... It's fun. It, you know, they're getting better and better with each case that they release. Um, and I think it all started with the University District to where I found that they were they were really, really good. So, I'm happy that they started doing that and everything has been doing good. Maple Heights, um, with the Crimson Order, now this place. Alright, so let's go conga drums, makeup powder, that's definitely... Oh, that's not... Okay. Photograph. Fish trap. Okay. Huh. Nice. Okay. Bunch of clues there. Cool. It's actually going to be kind of cool. I might actually get to level 200 by the end of this case. Pretty sweet. Huh. It's not every day you see a hut like that perched in a tree. So this is where Vanessa was hiding out, eh? And so you found a trophy mount, Ace. Huh. Don't tell me you want to hang this trashy decoration up in your home. Oh, right. Good call, Ace. I didn't see the faded inscription on it. Well, recovering the text can go two ways. Watch me make a mess of it. Or have you ace it in seconds. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's a photo of the victim, but look at the drawing on it. We've seen enough of those by now to know it's a voodoo spell. Yeah, you've got a good point, Ace. Everyone seems to practice voodoo around these parts, so let's start by identifying the spell before we ground, go around pointing fingers. And you want to search through that fish trap? Fine by me. Just watch out for any water snakes hiding in there. I'd hate to be given a new partner. That ain't gonna phase me, man. Let's do the trap first. Ooh, it's like a bracelet. Ooh, leeches. That's not good. A necklace. Sorry, Ace, if you were fishing for compliments, you ain't gonna get none. You picked out the most uninteresting thing in that fish trap. Oh, you think it's the necklace our victim used to wear, Ace? Alright, I guess it's not such a bad find after all. And I agree, we should collect some of that blood. I was... I got a... Someone was asking me, sometimes I feel t I seem tired when I release these, um, and I keep mentioning that I record in the mornings, and you guys asked when I do it. I basically wake up at like 2.30 in the morning, my time, to record them. <laughs> so, set my alarm, wake up, and get to this game, man. I have an addiction. Anyways, you want to send this blood you collected from the victim's necklace over to the lab base? Well, that means less work for us, so I'm all for it. Okay, blood work should take, what, nine hours? Oh, three. Alright, we gotta be getting a suspect here eventually, right? I mean, you just, you'd imagine. Oh, crap. Hmm, not, not bad, I guess. You managed to recover that message on the trophy mount, Ace. It reads, don't you get it, Vanessa? You're the prey. And it's signed, Betty Lou. Wow, I'm kind of relieved she's mean to everyone, not just me. And you're right, Ace. Just previously, a head turned up in Betty Lou's bar. And now it sounds like Betty Lou's threatening to stick Vanessa's head on a trophy mount. Wow, I agree. We need to talk to her. Aha. So she's going to be there. Mabio's going to be there. The priest might be there. I got an extra star normally. I got eight stars to get through this because I was hoping that, that that would be enough. 
No, it looks like maybe this one. No, it's this one right here. Ooh, nine. Nice. Yeah, we knew it. You've become pretty knowledgeable in all things Voodoo Ace, so identify. So you identified this spell cast as Vanessa's photo. Yeah, you're right. We've actually seen this Voodoo signature before, and it belongs to none other than Eric Mobayo. Ugh. Why am I not surprised? Well, you know, for someone who works in shadows, Erica ain't very good at staying in them. But then again, I ain't complaining. And but it seems like this was a protection spell. What was Erica trying to protect Vanessa from? I agree. Let's go see the sorceress and ask her directly. What's up, Betty Lou? Betty Lou, Deputy Chief Ace found the threat you so sweetly carved out for Vanessa, stating that she was the prey. What'd you mean by that? It wasn't a threat, it's just the way I talk. I wanted her to leave the bayou for good, is all, before something bad happened to her. Well, it still sounds like a threat, Betty Lou. Were you mad at Vanessa because you discovered she was a prostitute? What do I care what she did? She was a pretty one, alright, and dolls like her just end up getting ruined in the bayou. I didn't envy her for that. Pretty dolls like her? There's a poor choice of words, Betty Lou. You know Vanessa's killer turned her into a human voodoo doll. Heck, don't look at me. If I was going to kill someone, I'd just blast them with my shotgun and feed them to the gators. Quick and easy. Just ask my ex-husband. Oh, shh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's a little scary. Oh, she's got a little uh, injury on her. Erica, Deputy Chief Ace discovered that you placed a protection spell on Vanessa Kimmel. I'm sorry to break it to you, but the spell didn't work. How dare you question my powers? You mere mortals, my spells always work. Well, she's been murdered, so no, they don't really work. But that protection spell was to help Vanessa. She was scared of something, so I used my magic and begged her to go talk to Deputy Chief, Chief Ace immediately. But it seems that I failed her. I will try and speak to her spirit in the shadow world and ask for forgiveness. Yeah, yeah, why don't you just save us some time and ask Vanessa who killed her, would you? <laughs> it would be. I mean, if you could really talk to the dead, that would be very helpful. Not really admissible in court, but... Anyways, guys. Comment, like, do what you gotta do, and I'll see you guys back here. Au revoir. Alright, folks. We are back. Let's finish this off. Analyze the blood you found on the victim's necklace, Ace. And it's a mix of your victim's blood and chili powder. As the chili powder was on the blood and not in her bloodstream, it obviously means it got deposited on the necklace after the murder by your killer. And thanks to this, I can tell that you that your killer enjoys spicy food. <laughs> Sounds like you're reading from the killer's online dating profile, Jan. Enjoy spicy food, long walks on the beach, and watching sunsets. You're right, Ace. I should be grateful now that we're one step closer to catching our chili-loving killer. Although, I must admit, you're in the bayou. I guarantee you everyone around here likes that type of food. Anyways, guys, you guys have been so supportive, I'm actually going to speed some of this stuff up. Well, I looked in that document you found, Ace. I had Russell check out that handwriting. Any positive, it belonged to your victim. Hmm. First, Vanessa starts investigating the disappearance of these girls, and then she turns up dead. What can you tell us about it? For one, they all went missing in the bayou over the years, and get this, they all died at the age of 24, just like our victim. And the similarities don't end there. All these girls were prostitutes. Again, just like your victim. Whoa, what do you think, Ace? Are these other cases linked? And does that mean that we're dealing with a serial killer? Well, that's a difficult one to answer because the cop investigating these girls, Harvey Fincher, never solved the case. Oh, crap. Harvey was leading the investigation? I didn't expect to talk to that old wreck again so soon. Yeah, but you're right, Ace. We need to see him. Oh, snap. And he has the bump, too. Ooh. That's no bueno. Let's do the body as well. Well, that's quite a body you sent over, Ace. A human made to look like a voodoo doll? That's pretty cool. Well, I think the victim would disagree, Roxy. Well, she's got her lips sewn shut, so she can't say anything much anyways. And the freaky thing is her eyes are missing underneath those buttons. Ugh. Oh, great. So now we're obviously dealing with a complete psycho here. All I can tell you for now is that she was strangled to death. And I'm guessing that the killer used the tools they had at hand for stitching because it was done with a fish hook and fishing line. So that means our killer fishes. Huh. It's meant to be a calming activity, not uh, let's go 
and rip some poor girl's eye out kind of thing. Stringlish. I wonder if this is going to be Harvey. Fincher. Fitchner. Ooh. Gained a level. Sweet. Alright, let's talk to Harvey about this. Hey, Harvey. Deputy Chief Ace is looking into a murder which is similar to those missing girls you were investigating. What can you tell us about it? Go away, a lot of you. I don't want to talk about that blasted case. Come on, Harvey. Lives are at risk here. There's a serial killer on the loose. Oh, that case haunts me day and night, alright? It's my first assignment on reaching the bayou. I tried my best, but my best wasn't enough, and the case was never solved. So you turned to drinking instead? You do the same, Frank. I know you too well. What happens to them girls was a nightmare, and the drink keeps those memories at bay. Now leave me alone. Huh, now I kinda understand why Harvey drinks so much, Ace. I suddenly feel bad for the poor guy. Yeah, you're right though. There's a good chance that catching a serial killer might help Harvey put a few demons to rest. At least I hope so. You're right. I don't, I don't know if it's him actually after that. I want to say it's him though. Deputy Chief Ace, if we've got a serial killer on our hands, things are going to get a whole lot more complicated around here. This investigation has already destroyed one of my officer's lives, and I don't want the same thing to happen to you, so be careful. And Frank, given that Harvey is now a suspect, it would be best if you were taken off this case. Phew, that's kind of a relief, Chief. I don't know if I could investigate my old mentor for murder. And don't worry, Ace. I know you'll ace it. Ace, I'll have Amy come around, and I'll let you debrief her. This is going to be her first big case, so I'm happy she gets to do it with you. Reporting for duty, Deputy Chief Ace, and ready to catch the serial killer. So what have you got so far? You discovered that Betty Lou sent Vanessa a death threat, but insisted it was actually just a friendly note to tell her to leave the bayou. Yeah, whatever. And Erica Mabaya wanted to protect the victim, yet the style of the murder strongly suggests the killer dabbles in voodoo, which is very interesting. Hey Ace, you gotta listen to this. I pinpointed the locations where those girls went missing and triangulated the coordinates. It led me to a colonial mansion buried deep in the swamp. What's weird is that for such a secluded place, a lot of young attractive women seem to gather there. Ace, you previously discovered that Vanessa was featured in a book about prostitutes, right? Well, I think we just found the brothel she worked at. Oh wow, a voodoo murder, a serial killer, and now a hidden brothel? You're right, Ace, we need to check it out ASAP. Oh no, Ace, we finally found the brothel Vanessa worked at, but it's on fire. Oh, snap. Well, guys, I think we might even upgrade this to 200 likes. We'll see. 150, 200 likes, depending on how many comments we get. Um, we'll do 150. I may push it to 200. Um, but comment, man, so we can get Chapter 2 out. I'll see you guys later. This has been Pitching East 88. Over and out.